Hey guys, back with another unboxing video. Today is April something or another. Um, I want to say it's actually April 5th. Um, anywho, we are back with Faith Box. This is the April box, I believe, or it could be March. I'm also a little behind with my videos, and I don't believe that I filmed a March um, Faith Box. I probably should have checked all of that before I posted this. So the title of this video will let you know which box it is because I'm, you know, all over the place. Um, and sorry for any background noise. My little bitties are making themselves a lunch. They decided to do it right at this time. Um, so I know there's been a lot going on in the world with the virus on top of whatever, um, you know, hardships or storms that people are already going through personally. And then all of this is just added on to it. Uh, I know it's been spoken a lot about on YouTube um, and the BookTube community and all the other videos that I have watched, um, you know, hair, nails, uh, you know, all, all other videos that I've um, watched on YouTube. So I'm not going to speak any more, you know, into it. Just know that everyone is in my prayers, daily prayers, since all of this has happened because... Um, we, I know, you know, we all know how this has all affected everyone and, um, you know, jobs are lost or, um, unemployment has skyrocketed because people have been laid off and then getting unemployment and then, you know, working from home isn't easy when you have your little ones right there with you, um, because daycares are closed and, you know, as they should be, um, you know, even the library is closed, but thank goodness for library apps. But, um, you know, with all that going on, I just want everyone to know that you all are in my prayers, um, with all of this craziness going on. Um, so back to the unboxing. This is Faith Box. The title will let you know which month it is. I'm pretty sure this is April, but I'm not sure. And... I love this quote, definitely, like, we definitely, definitely need to know this now more than ever, that we're all in this together. No. Okay, so the month's theme is renewal. This is our everyday guide that has the daily scriptures and quotes in them. So, that's pretty. This is our compact guide that lets us know about everything that's in the box. I usually don't read this during the video, um, but actually it depends on the box because sometimes I do, um, if I just cannot figure something out, I do go back to this. But right now, I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to put that down. I have all of my thingamajigs. I'm also doing this video right now because I'm trying to take my mind off of things. So I hope that, um, you know, this brings some sort of light to someone's day with everything. All right. So first up, looks like we have two sticker decals. Um, so this says that it is perfect for laptops, water bottles, uh, notebooks durable and long-lasting stickers that's pretty much what they are but these look like moths and it says choose joy the boys calm down malachi you can pray with him all right and then boys Dear God, help me, 
That's my four-year-old. They're having lunch, so he wanted his brother to pray with him. But, okay, so these are moths, I believe. Decals. Stickers. There's two of those. Then we have our smaller version of what's in our planner. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I have not used my planner in a month and a half because... I moved, I switched schools and job titles, and then the world exploded. So, I got to get back on using my planner, definitely since I'm at home and we have a schedule of um, uh, classroom, doing classwork and school and everything. I'm working from home. This is my break. Um, the boys... All three of the boys have um, classroom at home. Two of my boys have Google Classroom. One has Seesaw. But it's like we have this crazy schedule. And I keep like running around with stuff. But I have my planner. So I need to pick my planner back up and just use my planner. All right. And then this. Okay. So it is April because this is April. This is our awesome calendar. And it says, he is not here, for he has risen just as he said. And that is fitting for my anniversary is also um, Easter. So he is risen. It's an Easter uh, scripture. And then our other watercolor. Well, actually, I don't know if this one's watercolor. This one might just be painting and drawing but it says created me a pure heart oh god and renew a steadfast spirit within me psalms of 51 10 always reminds me of a song that we sing in church uh, created me a new heart oh god um all right and then it looks like we got some other stuff okay so Behold, I make all things new. Revelations 21, 5. Oh, maybe that's a butterfly. Maybe this is a butterfly. And I said it was a moth. And maybe this is a butterfly. Because then it would go with the theme of April. Which all of this is like butterfly stuff. But man, it, that looks like a moth. And then these are butterflies. So this is some type of lip balm. Butterfly Habitat Garden, I think. No, it sounds like seeds. Um, I don't have any scissors in front of me. I need to... Actually, let me see. Try not to use these. These are my fabric shears. I can't open these. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Let's see. Just had to break it, I guess. Oh, there it is. Wait. Okay. Ooh. This is definitely handmade, hand put together, or hand glued on, or something like that. This is from Potting Sheds Creations. Oh, it's a seed germ. 85% something. Flowers, a bishop's flower, butterfly, milkweed, show, showy milkweed, corn, cornflower, Siberian wallflower, dwarf something. There's a lot of uh, things on there. So this looks... Oh, I'm going to have to look this up because I actually don't I still not really understand it what all this is. Yeah. I can't get the paper inside of it out and I'm like spilling stuff into my hand. All right. This looks like a variant of different seeds. All right. It's a butterfly scatter garden, a wonderful mix of 19 varieties of flowers noted for their beauty and ability to attract butterflies in cool climates plant in spring early summer or late fall planting fall 
planting should be late enough so that seeds do not germinate until spring. In mild climates, for best results, plan in fall before periods of rainfall. Well, you know, there's some weather out here. Like St. Louis weather is just, you know, crazy. So we'll see. But that's cool. But now I got to come up with a flower bed in order to plant these because we live in a apartment so we need little flower pots so that way we're not digging up you know apartment complex stuff Mommy, all right and then we have kind lips this says a 100 percent natural lip balm sweet mint and 20% to anti-bullying. So I'm guessing 20% of the proceeds goes to in anti-bullying fund. Um, oh, that sucks. I can't use this. This would have been something really good for me to try, but I can't use it because the first ingredient is coconut. I'm allergic to coconut. Um, but then there's beeswax. Um olive fruit oil of some sort shea butter jojoba seed oil peppermint steva vitamin e so i'll probably give this to like my mom or someone that will actually use it that's not allergic to um no bro can i say hi no to the camera i'm recording please All right, and then we have Psalms and Colors, 44 exquisitely designed cards to color with inspirational scriptures, scripture verses from the book of Psalms. So that's that side. And then Psalms and Color, this is what the front of the box says. Oh. It just pops right off there. Okay. And then... Can I get a banana? Huh? Can I get a banana? Uh, yeah, Damien can give you a banana. And then... So that's what the front card looks like. Of course. Let's see. It's going to be a long video because I'm having trouble opening stuff. Ha! All right. It says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give him thanks and praise his name. Psalms 100 in verse 4. So, they all have cool... Psalms that you can sit in color and then hand to someone. Blessed is the one who in who trusts in the Lord. Psalm 44. So I think what I'm gonna do with these is have my boys color some of these, and we can send these with um to like their friend's house. We're doing porch drops off for Easter, so these would be cool for porch drop offs. So, I had to find some colored pencils around here somewhere because crayons are definitely too big for these. But, these are cool. I like these. And then, last but not least, we have our book, Jesus is Calling for Easter. And then there's different pages. I know we had one of these last year or the year before for, um, for what is it? Uh, Christmas. But these are really cool. I like these. And there's something different on each side. They're really, really cool. So, I mean, I think we would be like five days behind. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. So that's not how it works. So it's not by day. 
but these are all really cool oh this is beautiful therefore if anyone is in christ he is a new creation the old one or the old has gone the new has come first corinthians 5 17 that is super cool so but that is the box that is all that's in the box that's all we have for you but this is a cool little relaxation uh box and um you know another a way for you to get into the word since we have so much time left well not so much time left, not like that, but saying that since we have so much time off <laughs> from work and we have all this extra time, you know, extra time. But those of you who are parents know that there's no such thing once you have kids. So, but until next time, bye. Can I say bye?